Hello, my name is Adam Becker, and about five years ago, my partner and I started StorySpring Consulting. And our mission was to help executive nonprofit leaders to communicate their, their story and push forward their impact. And although I'm not here today to talk to you about housing and homelessness, I want to talk today about a, one story here in Denver of Yes in My Backyard. And it's going to center around one of our city's great leaders, Dr. Lydia Prado, who we've had the joy of working with. Dr. Prado is the project visionary at the Dahlia campus uh, for health and well-being, a site of the Mental Health Center of Denver in, in Northeast Park Hill. And for you to really understand how special this campus is and what a transformative story this is, I want to kind of start at the end. The Dahlia Campus for Health and Well-Being is a truly remarkable place. It's home to an inclusive preschool, pediatric dentistry, one-acre urban farm, a teaching kitchen, aquaponics greenhouse, and a full array of mental health services. But this story of Dahlia Campus did not start as yes in my backyard. It started with years and years of hard listening that Dr. Prado did in Northeast Park Hill, especially to the people that disagreed with her the most. This is a picture of the Northeast Park Hill Coalition meeting. It's a recreation of that picture, but that was the sentiment that, that she experienced, right? <laughs> and many of those folks went on to become some of her greatest champions. Northeast Park Hill had been burned time and again by developers, universities, nonprofits, politicians, and Dr. Prado knew that she needed to deliver a different experience. Even a month before the groundbreaking, a block captain came up to her and said, you know, Lydia, you have to understand that the last project here came so close we could taste it. So until we see something coming out of the ground, you're just here talking. When you have hundreds and hundreds of community conversations with a variety of people in multiple settings, central themes start to emerge. And the, one of the central themes at Dahlia Campus was food, access to healthy food and healthy proteins. Many of you know Northeast Park Hill is a food desert, and it, really it's a food swamp. It's where Dahlia is located. It's miles to the nearest grocery store. It's only a few blocks to the nearest junk food. So it really started to come into focus that that access to healthy food was gonna be a central part of this campus. And once that became clear, Dr. Prado knew that they were gonna, they needed to produce lots and lots of food. And so here you can see a one acre urban farm, a 5,400 square foot aquaponics greenhouse, which is the largest of its kind in Colorado, uh, community gardening spaces off to the left, and therapeutic gardens. Conversations around food then led to conversations around culture, where people do things, how they do them. And so at the heart of the campus, you'll find a teaching kitchen, community spaces, and a very large community gym, all of which are booked out for months and months in advance. Conversations with teachers and principals that Dr. Prado was having were showing her that uh, dental problems are some of the main reasons that Colorado children miss school on a regular basis. So she partnered with a uh, nonprofit dentistry to offer four uh, dental chairs and x-ray machine right down the hall from the mental health services. Early childhood education, quality early childhood, and inclusive early childhood education became a central theme. She partnered with Sewell Child Development Center to offer four full-day inclusive preschool classrooms right on the campus. The story of one community elder comes to mind for Dr. Prado. And as she was leave, leaving to her car one day, this woman invites her over and says, Lydia, I need to apologize. I don't know if you remember, but we were not so nice to you in the beginning. <laughs> and Lydia's like, yeah, I, got, I remember, <laughs> right? <laughs> I can remember that. But the woman said, we heard you, we just could not imagine that this is what you were talking about. And Dahlia campus assumes strengths, right? 
it assumes that children are at promise, not at risk. Right? It, it assumes that the next astronauts or president of the United States are playing on the, on the playground at Dahlia campus right now. And when you assume that, you build differently for all, all children, all families. And let me tell you, Dahlia campus is a different place. The entire campus is a learning landscape. And when it came time for the, for the campus to start evaluating success, the community said, we want to measure it on three metrics, connection, ownership, and belonging. And by all accounts, it's been wildly popular. In the first year, over 6,000 people used the campus. 4,000 of those people were community members providing services to other community members. The Dahlia Campus for Health and Well-Being has won many awards since it opened in 2016. Some of them national, some of them international, but most of them are focusing on this central element of the process that went into its formation. This process of deep listening and appreciative inquiry. So Dr. Prado, who you can see here on the left, said, after all is said and done, I would do this again. And she is doing this again. As we speak, she is meeting with community leaders in Southwest Denver today. She could not be here with you. She is in the process, an 18-month process so far, of convening hundreds of conversations with families, community leaders, funders, service providers. Because when you put listening, deep listening, and a community-driven approach at the center of your work, one theme will continue to arise. And that is yes in my backyard. Thanks a lot. <laughs>